Hello there folks, these are the hands of me, Dan Brown from assortofinterestinglife.com and here we have got our lovely chrome finish Zippo hand warmer and I suppose it's about time that we had a quick look at how you fill this and after that I'm going to record it through the day and see how long it lasts for and how warm it is throughout the day. I think I will start, as this is the first proper use, by only filling up to about halfway which they say will be about six hours burn time. So that's a nice simple, uh, hopefully, burn out within a day time. We'll see how it goes. And well, as I'm filming this, the cat's just joined in. <laughs> so as you can see, this is going to be a pretty simple process. Take off the top half, take off the burner, and then you've got your uh, actual, I don't know, fuel tank, whatever you want to call it, ready to be filled. Then obviously you have your little tub here that's supplied, which you then need to obviously fill up to whichever level you want. If you fill it up to the top line, then that's 12 hours, they say, and the halfway line is 6 hours. Now, I've got a few more of these uh, tubs in the post, because this to me looks like it's going to be the sort of thing that will certainly eat through a lot of lighter fluid. The burner part of the hand warmer, it says in the instructions, will last about 70 to 80 times. So that's another thing that in the future I'll do a proper review after I've had a fair amount of usage of this. Right, that's looking good. And hopefully you can see there that we've got this filled to the halfway mark. And now, like I say, let's just hope for the best and fill us up. Apologies if this process takes a little bit of uh, time. I might cut the video if needs be. Obviously you want to be very careful as well that you don't get fuel all over your hands if you're about to use a lighter. And you'll notice as well, in my obsessive way, I've also got rid of the um, lighter fluid tub. Because anything like this, I always say, it's like you don't want to hold a naked flame anywhere near a large quantity of any sort of combustible material. It's got to be said, that's actually not taking much time. Once again, make sure that you haven't got any on your hands. So then, it is going to be a simple case. Pop the burner on. And in the instructions, now hey, there's a few things really with lighting it. In the instructions it says hold the hold this to a flame for 15 to 30 seconds. And I've had a play with this, I'll admit, last night I couldn't resist just giving it a little test. And I found that at first I was thinking, oh it's not going to light, it's definitely not going to light. But after I gave it a good dose of the flame, it certainly did spring into life. I've seen people saying that for the best uh, results and to give it the best chance of lighting you should be holding it at the top of the blue arch of the flame. I'm not sure if that's uh, accurate or what but that's certainly what I'm doing and it looks like my um, lighter itself needs a little bit of fuel now. Oh, that's embarrassing. Fancy trying to light something and then having a <laughs> running out of fuel light it. Especially after the amount I've just poured into this thing. Right, that's definitely lit. You can see there that you've just got that little bit of a glow just on those parts there. So, that's how it should be when it's lit. Then it's a simple case of pop on the lid, pop it into its pouch, which I am, to be fair, still amazed that putting it in this pouch doesn't smother the flame, or that, well, it doesn't burn with a flame obviously, but it doesn't put the fire out. And Yes, already that heat is coming through the bag. Um, to touch the actual thing itself, I'd say that's definitely very warm already. Hmm, yes, that's, uh, that's quite interesting. We'll see how this goes. So, what's the time officially? It is 35 minutes past nine. So, we shall check that throughout the day and see how we're going. So here we are at the two hour stage and amazingly it's got to be said this burns very very warm indeed and at the minute I'd say I can't really keep my thumb pressed on it at the sort of central part for too long because when I say it's warm it is very warm so so far definitely impressive it's been in the bag in my pocket for the last hour and a half at least and as you can see well, as I can feel at least it's certainly living up to the hype fantastic.
as is this wonderful little place. So we're on board good old narrowboat Tilly here, sorry about the shaky camera, but I can say finally that the hand warmer lasted about four hours or so I'd say. Now over that time it did burn extremely hot and there were some points where it was very hot to touch if you were touching the metal part. So I'm not sure if maybe while I was walking and biking it got shook uh, a little bit and the fuel sort of came forward in more of a gulp than it should have or what. But four hours is still a good respectable time, especially the heat that it was giving off. So what I will do is use this over the next couple of weeks and then come back with a proper review and a proper sort of general burn time and general estimate for how it's going to uh, fare and obviously see how well it stands up to extended use. So thank you very much for watching. Check out my other videos and subscribe for a load more random sort of outdoorsy stuff. And obviously, life on a narrowboat, as you can see in the background. Uh, feel free to like the Facebook page, follow me on Twitter, add to my personal Facebook account, all the good stuff. And of course, check out my two books about living on a boat on the Kindle. Um, until the next time, have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around soon. Farewell.